Hello, Visionary, and welcome back to our channel. This is Raquel of Raquel and Davidian Unleash Your Genius. And in this video, we are doing part two of the spiral dynamic and human design. We are moving into tier two, transcending the lower tiers to awaken a new perspective, see the world in a new way, to view all others as a stage of development rather than stupid or name calling. This takes an incredible amount of wisdom, growth, and expansion. So if you're ready, let's dive in to yellow, turquoise, and coral. Visionary. We are moving into part two of human design and spiral dynamics. If you were with me during part one, you know we went through the beige, the purple, the red, the blue, the orange, and the green. We went through all of tier one. So if you haven't watched that video, go back. I'll put it in the links below. Make sure you understand tier one first before moving into tier two. The idea is that we're moving back and forth between individual and tribal. As you grow and learn, you actually move up in consciousness. You move up to higher and higher stages of development. Why this is so important? is because it is actually a human need. It is why we are on the planet. Maslow's hierarchy of needs, yes, you need to take care of your survival. You need to take care of your finances, your achievement. And then the next stage is self-actualization. It's literally a human need to self-actualize. If you are a privileged person, you should not be stuck watching Netflix you should be self-actualizing. That is what you're here to do and you only have one life and it's a very important time on the planet for people to begin to awaken and to move past some of these tiers. So my inspiration for you is to get yourself into tier two. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and dive into the intel for today. Now, before I get into yellow, I want to talk about some of the questions I got from part one. Why are we studying this stuff? And what exactly is this system? So Spiral Dynamics is a system to help us understand human psychology and development. It's a way to utilize the intense studies done by some of the most amazing thinkers on entire demographics so we can better understand ourselves and others. And so it's a way to study human morale and psychological growth, as well as the overall development in different countries. So you can actually kind of see, and they've studied this, what color a country is in. So then you don't try and move someone up the spiral too quickly. You don't judge them for being in different stages of psychological development. And the idea is that you speak to countries and people at the level they're at and you come at them with an understanding. And then, you know, they've studied this and they've done a lot of work with this on how to help people move up just to the next level of development. And so it's a really interesting way to to look at, at, at growth. And so one of the other reasons to study this is that it reveals your shadows and your blocks, which are your own greatest enemy. And this system helps us explore the blind spots and including the blind spots we see in human design and where your ego and your psyche, your psyche are keeping you stuck in your life and in your business. So these are pretty good reasons. <laughs> um, also, it's going to help you to understand why people are so irrational out there. Why are they spinning around on their, you know, moral high horse? Well, it's because they're in a certain stage of psychological development and why do they want to fight each other so this is all about developmental psychology which means that our growth our personal growth takes steps 
forward and it doesn't go back. It moves forward through stages that are easily mapped and that we can study and learn from. And so we see that the maturity and the morality develops over time and with personal growth. So again, this is research done by Claire Graves, Don Beck, Ken Wilver. This is to name a few. They've done countless hours and this is so much deep work. And so if you want to go deeper in that, I recommend looking into some of these people and seeing uh, the depth of their material that they created. So before we get into this, please note, this is not an opportunity to put you higher than or above other people. It's not supposed to be used to judge anyone. This is for your own personal growth and your own personal contemplation. You will move in and out of each level. You may hit moments of peak experiences in turquoise, but you're really actively working through some religious stuff that you had growing up. Or you may be green, but tapping into turquoise, but realizing, oh, I need to go back and make sure I have my finances under control. Or you may need to go through red, the selfishness. You can't bypass anything either. You can't all of a sudden decide, oh, I want to go to turquoise, but she never really went through the stage of systematic thinking. So I just want to make a quick note. I recently watched this show, The Goop Lab with Gwyneth Paltrow, and it is so such a great example of how to move from orange into green and how to take the overachiever, someone who's not really focusing on anything but their own personal success, and dip them into spiritual awakenings. And she does it through a very variety of different techniques, through breath, through, uh, I think she uses medicinal um, power plant journeys and a women's empowerment. And I haven't watched the whole thing, but it's such a great example of how this country, so much of it is in orange based in how successful you are, how much money you're making. And then it shows you how you can open your heart, have spiritual experiences, explore aspects of yourself that move you more into green. And so that gives you a really good example of where green is at, where orange is at, where where orange is at, and how to really make that shift. There are a lot of other examples on how to shift between levels, but that's one example of how to go from orange to green. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of that. So we are moving on to tier two, and we are going to step into yellow. If you relate to yellow, this is fantastic. Yellow was on the planet about 50 years ago. Not many people are operating in yellow. So there is a huge leap that needs to happen to go from tier one to tier two. And primarily you need to understand and have compassion for all of humanity. Mm -hmm. And understand the tier they're on. So think about that right now, people. Everybody's out there fighting mask, no mask. They're so stupid. They're red, they're blue. They're fighting for their right or whatever it is that they believe for their God. And they are all stuck on tier one. So if you have the ability to move up to tier two, I'm encouraging you to do it. So listen to this. It's very important. If you vehemently disagree with their opinions, meaning there's something you absolutely hate or are enraged by, you must transcend as reflections within yourself that are unhealed. So in other words, if you're enraged by people being whatever, mask, no mask, uh, even racist, or even if you're enraged by this, and I'm not saying that we're saying that any of what these people are doing is right, but I'm saying that there's often unhealed wounding from your path that needs to be healed as a reflection of something deep within you. And once you move into realizing that it's all a reflection of our own inner game, it's life-changing. You wake up into a whole new world and this is a huge accomplishment. And we don't see that many people operating within this, this consciousness. The magnificence of existence is here. It's revered above material object. But here, money is honored. We have wealth and it's used positively to advance 
humanity. So it rises above the green do-gooder and not having any power. Here, the yellow has power. It understands the importance of money. It understands the importance of self-actualizing. It understands that chaos and change are natural for human development. At this level of psychological development, you understand the epigenetics, which mean you realize that you are absolutely impacting the world around you by how you perceive the world. You seek to implement solutions that work within the framework of all people, regardless of the psychological level they exist in. So you can see blue without judgment. This helped me so much, the spiral dynamics, to not judge those people that are in religion. It's so important to not judge the level people are in, but to look at them and understand they're seeing through things through their lens. They're not stupid. They're not idiots. Okay. They are in their level. And once we can have compassion for where people are at, we begin to heal as a society. This is so important right now because we're so divisive and it's going to take this push, the deep, thoughtful leader to move into thoughtful compassion for all. To have mastered green and orange and blue, at least you deeply understand the levels and the pitfalls. The, the dilemma here in yellow, and we see this with the people who are in yellow from my perspective. And I had some examples down here, the Ken Wilber, the Rebel Wisdom, the Daniel Schumachtenberger. If you haven't heard him, I really love this Daniel. He is really doing some thoughtful yellow work. And yet, even with these people, they're, most of them have not had spiritual awakenings to the level of you see turquoise. So these people are very smart. They're very intellectual. Where people in yellow get stuck, they're unable to make distinctions of the higher level turquoise without the lower level blue being what they see when it comes to spiritual development. Not all of them, people that I mentioned, I think they're awake enough to see turquoise and have had some turquoise turquoise experiences, but at the same time, you can see that they're often stuck in the intellect. They're not really able to tap into the higher turquoise. However, many of them are thriving and striving to do so. Yellow is a really important stage of personal development. You are non-judgmental. You have compassion. You see the world from a new place. You have your finances in order. I know a lot of people who may have had turquoise experiences. They tap into turquoise and they've had these spiritual awakenings, but they haven't really mastered orange. So in other words, if you're in green, you're in between orange and green, you have turquoise moments of awakening, but you haven't mastered your finances, you kind of have to go back into orange. You know, every level is, every part of our life is in different levels. So our business might be in one level, our relationship might be in another level, health might be in another level. In other words, you might in your health think you need a doctor to solve all your problems. You look at your doctor like you look at God. And so each level, each part of our life exists on a different level. So some people may have had spiritual awakenings, but their life is, they don't have their foundation in their business. You need to go back into self-help, go into motivation and get your business foundation so that you can move into yellow because you cannot stay in yellow if you don't have the finances under control. And so this is what we're working on as far as a spiritual community goes and spiritual development is really understanding how these operate, how to move up to yellow and then transcend to turquoise. Once we move out of yellow and we realize, oh, you know, I'm getting stuck in the intellect. I'm thinking too much. I'm in the mind. And you realize that there's something more, which is a deeper spiritual awakening. Then you begin to move into turquoise. And this, my friend, is rare. Most people have not seen this level of consciousness. They've not even seen people who are in this level of consciousness because it's not in our leadership much. It's not in academia. You rarely see it in the business world, even the online business world. This is also something for you to have discernment over. Is someone in orange but just talking a spiritual game? Have they really awakened into turquoise? So these beings exist on the outskirts, holding a high level of perception for the world. 
These are the master teachers. These beings hold global compassion, harmony, a higher awareness, a holistic thinking. You might see this with the clairvoyants, the healers, the shamans, the spiritual teachers, the awakened leaders. They operate in self-transcendence and selfless living. This level is birthed from lifetimes of service and introspection, as well as deep healing to reach these stages of awakening. Everything you thought you knew about the world evolves. Great levels of personal transformation need to happen before these doors open. This all lies beyond the thinking mind. At this level, one is able to see the synthesis of the east, the west, the left, the right, the heart, the mind, and can provide insights and clarities to our most challenging problems for the greatest good of all concerned. So leading their own self to higher states of awakening as well as being concerned for the awakening of humanity. These are very rare people. It is even rare if you've met one of these, like I said earlier. They're the true mystic, true healers. Now, remember, you're not going to see this in universities. Most universities are stuck in orange. and You're not going to see this in institutions. And you're definitely not going to see this in the government. If you're in tier one, be careful. You may confuse real turquoise with magical thinking, delusional people. So you won't be able to recognize the true opportunities these people offer you. That is a very important observation to make within yourself. I had the pleasure and I would say one of the greatest gifts of my life was spending two years with an awakened teacher. At the time, I was still young. I was in my 20s. I didn't realize the gift of it. This was someone who was totally off the grid. She was rich, living in mansions, but she did not charge anything for her work. She was completely an awakened, enlightened being. And now that I'm much older than that, and I've gotten my master's degree. I've studied with a lot of teachers here. I've studied, I've gotten a lot of coaching and in the coaching industry. And I met a ton of people in LA, Michael Beckwith, and I, you know, a ton of spiritual teachers and leaders. I now know that that two year experience with this woman was unlike anything else that most people have ever experienced in their life. I saw true enlightenment and I felt it. I got to experience it in her presence and I get to learn what it was like to not charge any money because money just came in because people were just wanted to be in her presence. And she would say yes or no based on what was correct, not based on money. You couldn't buy her. You couldn't buy her time. And it was truly the most amazing experience I've ever had. And I realize now, and this information really helped me realize how rare that experience was. It was like seeing a unicorn and getting to be with it and spend time with it and let it teach you and let it guide you and let it lead you. And she said, once you awaken in this consciousness, there's nothing better. You will not get tempted to sleep with your students or, you know, make deals around money that are unclean. And she was the real deal. Everyone always asks me how they can get in touch with her. And it's just at this point, she's completely off the grid and unreachable. It was truly an unbelievable experience. I do know that these levels are very, very, very real. The next level is Coral, which is a non-duality, which is probably the woman that I studied with for two years would have to be Coral. And there's not a lot of information that separates turquoise and coral because most of these people are not studying spiral dynamics. <laughs> most of them are out living awakened as awakened teachers. And it's hard to make that distinction between turquoise and coral. If you have ideas, please post them below. I know a lot of the people who are in my community are very awake and very spiritual. And I'm sure you guys have your insights that um, around the turquoise and the coral. So I'd love to hear from you. My invitation is to ask yourself where you're stuck, to ask yourself where you might be judging other people, where you might be not living your highest life, where you might be judging people who are religious or judging people who are red or judging anyone for the level they're on. And ask yourself if you can move into greater levels 
of compassion and know that the way out of the level you're on is non-judgmental awareness. And so I'm inspiring you to live as your awakened self, to learn, to discover, to grow and integrating this with your human design so you can know the uniqueness is really important. And if you don't know your human design chart, then I will put a link to get your free chart in the comments below. And you can check out some of our other videos to help you understand your human design basics because once you integrate that with this material, it's so empowering. You get to live a life as your unique self. You get to rise up in consciousness and serve humanity as we're going through this great change. So newsflash, before you run around telling people you're in turquoise and the rest of your friends are in blue, you want to be aware of the ego. The ego will tell you you're more spiritually advanced than you are. As we know, that's how the ego operates. So just make sure that you're using this as a way for your own awakening, for your own growth, and not to judge anyone else, but to awaken within yourself. It's not a competition. It's for you to notice when you're judging, when you're angry, when you're categorizing people as stupid, when you're forcing others to see things from your perspective, when you're unable to understand how people can be so dumb winky face. So if you believe, oh my God, how can people be so dumb? Well, they're not dumb. They are in a certain psychological development. The only way through is to have compassion and to provide tools and insights for them to see where they're at. So maybe they can awaken and be inspired to self-actualize in this life. And if someone's willing to self-actualize, they'll be willing to look at where they're stuck. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and share and comment below. If you want to get the notifications, you can ring the bell after you subscribe. I'm super grateful, grateful to have you part of this community. And I look forward to hearing what stage you think you're in, what stages you've passed through, and where you might be getting stuck. So thank you so much for all your comments. We really appreciate them.